Good morning, everyone. It is Julie here with your Monday morning stock market news, where we're getting you up to speed of what you need to know as the market opens. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back. Thank you all so much for being here. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. I had a great getaway camping and I have plenty of mosquito bites to prove it. Now we are kicking off a busy week in the market today as we have tech earnings coming up, plus some key inflation data later this week. So this morning, we're gonna take a look at exciting stock market news, notable earnings reports, and which stocks are the morning's biggest gainers and losers. So let's get right into this morning's exciting stock market news. U.S. stock futures are slightly in the green this morning as we kick off that busy earnings week and we'll hear the latest interest rate decision from the Fed on Wednesday. Right now, Dow futures are up 0.09%, S&P 500 futures up 0.16%, and Nasdaq futures up 0.22%. Shares of AMC Entertainment are soaring, currently up 43% after they filed a revised stock conversion proposal following a judge blocking their original plan to convert APE units into common shares. AMC had pursued a plan to convert their APEs into AMC common stock, execute a reverse stock split, and then issue shares to raise new capital. That resulted in litigation to stop the plan and then a quick class action settlement that would allow it to progress. The Court of Chancery applied the break so it could review the settlement and has now rejected it. AMC has now filed a revised stock conversion proposal in a bid to address the court's concerns. Their CEO said that if the court is satisfied, they hope to go ahead with the plan as soon as possible. Shares of Tesla has fallen slightly after a UBS analyst downgraded their buy rating to a hold, but they did provide some reassuring commentary. The analyst did increase their price target on stock to $270 from $220 and said, We think after the strong recent share performance, it is fully reflected that Tesla's price cut strategy has worked out well, while multiples have become more demanding. With a 12-month view, we're downgrading Tesla to neutral, but we continue to see a significant long-term opportunity in the stock. Overall, the Tesla stock does come in as a moderate buy with a fairly flat price target. Shares of Mattel are in the green this morning after the Barbie movie had the biggest domestic movie opening of the year, taking in $155 million in the U.S. They took in another $182 million from 70 global markets as well for a total haul of $337 million. Over the last six weeks, sales have been on the rise as there's been unprecedented global exposure for the Barbie brand. Mattel is due to report their Q2 earnings in a couple of days on July 26, where analysts are anticipating a loss per share of $0.03. Cents. The stock is currently rated a strong buy from three analysts with an average upside of 11%. Spotify has announced price increases to their premium subscriptions. They said that the market landscape has continued to evolve since the company launched and that they are changing their prices around the world to allow them to keep innovating. In the U.S., the price of a premium subscription is going up $1 to $10.99. Other countries will receive price changes, including Sweden, Italy, the U.K., and several others. The Spotify stock is currently rated a moderate buy, uh, once again a pretty flat price target overall. And Stellantis will once again be partnering up with Samsung SDI to build their second battery manufacturing facility in the United States. The two companies signed a memorandum of understanding for this second joint venture under their existing Star Plus Energy JV. The facility, whose location is currently under review, is expected to start production in 2027. They're already building their first battery manufacturing sit facility in Indiana, which is expected to launch in the first quarter of 2025. The Stellantis stock is currently rated a strong buy with an average upside of nearly 30%. Now moving over to notable earnings reports. Now, as I said, we are kicking off a busy earnings week. Tomorrow, we'll be hearing from Google, Microsoft, and Visa. On Tuesday, we'll hear from Meta Platforms, Southwest Airlines, Intel, and Ford. And we'll wrap the week up with Chevron and ExxonMobil on Thursday, plus Procter & Gamble on Friday. And those are just some of the big headlights. There's 150 companies in the S&P 500 reporting this week. In the pre-market this morning, we heard from Domino's Pizza. They did come out with an earnings beat, but a slight miss on revenue. Their revenue of $1.02 billion did fall over 3% year-over-year and came in $50 million short of expectations, primarily due to the lower supply chain revenues attributable to decrease in the company's market basket pricing to stores. Their Q2 earnings per share of $3.08 did come in $0.02 cents ahead of expectations. 
We also heard from Philips, who came out with an earnings beat, plus increased their full year guidance. However, they did see a fourth straight drop in order intake. The health technology company also expressed concern over China's drive to become self-sufficient in health-related technologies. For their Q2, they reported earnings per share of 28 euro cents and revenue of 4.47 billion euro. Applied Digital came out with both an earnings and revenue beat. For their Q4, they reported a loss per share of 1 cent, which was 5 cents better than analysts were anticipating, and revenue of 22.04 million also beat expectations and grew 194% year over year. And then we also have Chevron, and yes, they are officially reporting later this week, but on Sunday they came out with a preliminary Q2 report. They shared Q2 earnings of $3.08 per share, which is above the $2.97 per share that analysts were anticipating. This came from $6.01 billion. They noted that their Permian Basin production set a quarterly record in Q2 and that they're on track to meet their full year guidance. Now let's take a look at which stocks are the morning's biggest gainers and losers. Probably not a big surprise here, but those AMC shares are our biggest gainers this morning. Trading under the ticker AMC, the stock is currently up 36%. They're followed by POSCO under PKX, up about 17%, and Becton Dickinson and Company under BDX, up 6.1%. And our biggest losers this morning are led by ARC Best, after Pacer Advisors diminished their stake in the company. Trading under the ticker ARCB, the stock is down over 6%. They're followed by Full Truck Alliance under YMM, down 5.7%, and XPO Incorporated under the ticker XPO, down 5.4%. So that is going to be everything for Monday morning's stock market news. If you made it to the end of today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Say good morning in the comments. I always love hearing from you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you back here next time.